My name is Saad Qureshi. I will be creating the Organ Donation Memorial at the Royal London Hospital. What made you decide to become an artist? Were there particular moments that forged your career path? There wasn't ever really a decision that I, I kind of consciously made to become an artist. Um, it was always there. Uh, you know, I come from a family of makers and I think it was just in my, it was just my calling to become an artist. Uh, a particular moment, I guess my um, school art teacher um, really encouraged me to pursue a career in arts and here I am today. What themes and ideas does your work explore? Um, the reoccurring themes that keep cropping up in my work are uh, time, memory, landscape, um, the ideas of storytelling, which is a big one. I am absolutely fascinated uh, by um, using visual language as a form of storytelling. You've worked on some major public artworks and exhibitions. Please tell us about one of your preferred projects, if you have one. One of my preferred projects? Oh, that's a difficult one. I'll probably still go with Places for Noah, my first ever public art commission. Um, the reason why I like that the most is because it really allowed me to uh, be, be a storyteller. You know, I, were, I had invited the general public to uh, donate uh, memories of fragments of landscape that they no longer had access to, uh, whether because they've moved away from that locality or whether with time the, 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 the place has kind of evolved into something else. Um, so, and then those, those verbalizations were then reimagined and manifested into sculptural pieces. So I think that that really, um, really allowed me to kind of really tell and, and, and develop that sort of visual language of storytelling in my work. So I think that that's the one that I would say. What is the significance of this piece to you? Are there specific inspirations informing the Organ Donor Memorial Project? Uh, the inspiration behind the Organ Donation Memorial um, is actually people themselves, you know, like because there is going to be, a, a, there is a long uh, period of research uh, where I will be uh, speaking to uh, the, um, the donor families and uh, recipients and the whole network around that. Uh, and a lot, you know, just sharing their stories uh, around organ donation. Um, so it's it's those conversations that will be kind of informing, inspiring the artwork in 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 the end. So, and th and that's what I'm really excited about is hearing those stories and then sort of translating them into a visual format. Some of the personal stories behind organ donation will feature in your work. Can you tell me how this important element will feed into the final artwork? So the, the, the first uh, stage is my sort of sitting on a one-to-one -one with, with, with somebody, uh, uh, you know, hearing their story, uh, what, they, um, what they will share with me. And then it, it's a recorded interview that I will then, I mean, sometimes even during the conversation, something is immediately triggered and an image presents itself. Uh, and there are other times where I have to kind of listen back to the interview um, and see which element I can then sort of translate into uh, the, the artwork itself. But then the, the stories themselves, um, they are really for, for, for me to be inspired by. I always kind of hold these, the stories back to myself. Uh, they're not for, uh, for, that the, I, I don't really give give the stories out. Um, I think the idea is that the artwork needs to kind of really take a, a life of its own. Uh, and I think if I start sharing individual stories, then uh, it kind of becomes locked into that one narrative where I think the artwork has the potential to be anything it, 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 it can. So I wouldn't want to limit it. Has there been a story of someone you have spoken to so far that has stood out to you? There have been several stories that have really stood out to me and I mean, in fact most of the stories are very moving and, and, I, 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 and, and, and have really stood out to me. But you know, it, it's not always like the full story from start to the end that, that, that has to inspire me. You know, maybe they've just had a phrase, by the by. That, that they haven't even realized it wasn't really necessarily part of the story but it was just that emotion that I'm interested in you know that's why I think that the, the interviews are really important that they are live face-to-face -face interviews um, 
So there's several moments, several parts of the stories that I, I have already stood out. Um, but again, the fact that I can't really reveal those stories and they all will be knitted together. So it's, you know, it, it, all the stories will be kind of coming together to form a single scene. It must be satisfying to work on a memorial aimed at helping raise awareness about organ donation. Do you have a sense of how this will help people understand the importance of organ donation? I mean, I think it's, it's always kind of difficult to predict um, how, you know, whether it's an artwork or, or a memorial in, in a form of a memorial will be received. But what I'm hoping or uh, that this memorial will do is that it will it will get people talking. Um, it will start a conversation. I think, and I think that that's that's the, the 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 most important part in anything. That you know, if we get more and more people talking about things, then it will encourage people. I mean, for example, ever since I have been involved in the in in this project, the just the number of conversations that I've had around organ donation uh, is just. I mean, that's already a, a big change. So I think that that's what I'm hoping uh, that this work or this project will do is that it'll it'll, it'll encourage a new conversation. Uh, around organ donation. Who would you say has inspired you the most to take on this project? Um, I think who is a difficult one, but what? It's the, it's the very idea behind organ donation. Um, that's what's really inspired me. I, am, uh, it, I, I think that there's a lot of beauty and poetics in this gift of life um, that I'm just really fascinated by. You know, you are gifting a life to somebody and by doing so, you're giving the other person uh, another chance uh, to, to kind of live on. Um, there's just so many multiple um, things, elements that, are, that really inspired me um, to take on the project. You have worked very closely with the arts team, Vital Arts. Can you talk about that collaboration? Uh, yes, I mean, it's been a very happy collaboration. Um, I think that, well, the best thing is the fact that they really know how to um, give the freedom to the artist to uh, really kind of go all out on the vision. Um, and I think that that, that that for me has been the most satisfying uh, element in the relationship is that they, they, they've only just been given me the freedom and just really opened the doors for me and said that there, you know, this is your, your area uh, and just made things happen. Uh, for me, that was the, the best part. Is there anything final you'd like to say to the hardworking staff and families who are at our Bart's Health Hospitals about this project? I mean, just the absolute phenomenal work that, that everybody is doing. Um, I, I, I just think that they, they really need to know that this is, I mean, they are really changing lives um, out there. And I hope that this, this work is a, a, a little thank you for them um, in the amazing work that everybody's doing. To kickstart things, we're gonna be uh, having two uh, events on the 14th and 17th of November. Um, if you would like to take part in the project, please do stop by and share your stories. Thank you very much for listening and I, I hope to see you there.